lot of reactive dogs, it's really more about um, confidence um, than anything else. So this is tonight's reactive dog class set up. So we have our mats that they use when they first start. Um, and what we do here is I just have a lot of different obstacles, um, agility, um, some of our um, capable canine stuff. So we have, you know, we do a look on a mat and then we've got a walker here that they have to go around. So an agility command. And then we've got three cones that they weave to a mat. We've got the wheelchair that I usually sit in and wheel around and talk from and wheel up to them. Then we've got a jump. I don't actually make them jump. I just want them to walk through the jump. So they're stepping over in between things to a place around, we got this bucket here that kind of hangs out here. So um, just a pole on the ground, another place. Then we go through a hoop and a place we have an around on the chair and then from the around we go through another weave through a hoop to a place then we start so i really have the dogs just walking around in this manner now these are dogs who are okay with seeing each other in this particular class the dog that is more of what i would call a cautious canine um, needs to build confidence in seeing things. He's not really necessarily reactive as much as he is nervous and scared and shuts down. Um, I've got two place mats here in the middle and I actually would put one of the dogs on the mat and have the other dog do the course. You can see they get relatively close to them doing the around. Again, you have to adjust this course based on what kinds of dogs that you have in class and their levels of confidence and reactivity. Um, my earlier class tonight, there was no way, I mean, I had all of the, the, the barriers up, um, these barriers over here. We have six of them, and I had all six spread out between the three dogs that were in class, my first reactive dog class tonight. So again, I tailor reactive dog classes to whoever is in the class for the 45 minutes, and you know, and the combination um, so that we want everybody to be successful and make some, some headway. So sometimes you have to be a little bit more creative and flexible in how you make sure everybody has a successful time in that 45 minute slot and make some sort of progress without going over threshold.